3D printing is not going away anytime soon, and there have been some really incredible and very large things which have been built by this incredible process. So once again, let's begin the top 7 countdown. And beginning at number 7, it's the largest 3D printed boat. The University of Maine has revealed one of the largest 3D printed objects in the world which weighs roughly 5,000 pounds. The 3D printer itself is actually pretty incredible, and it can print objects over 100 feet long by 22 feet wide. You can definitely expect this printer to break more records in the future. This particular build only took 72 hours, which is not too bad for a polymer 3D printer. But I definitely wouldn't drive this thing onto any rough shores. Continuing on, and I'm going to exemplify my inability to count down properly and throw another thing into the number 7 position. But this one's kind of affiliated with boating anyways, and it's called the Wham Peller. The largest 3D boat printed propeller is pretty innovative to say the least. Produced in about 298 layers, this prop was made by an additive manufacturing technique. The part took quite a few months to design and prototype, but the actual 3D printing only took a few days. It was eventually installed and used on a tugboat, but whether or not this is actually better than a forged prop in relation to longevity and performance is still debatable. Nevertheless, there are some really impressive 3D metal printers coming out right now, so this type of process is only going to improve over time. We get to number 6, and it's an electric bike. Can you trust 3D printing enough to a point where you can go 60 miles per hour down the road and not worry about splitting into a million pieces? Well, this might not be the thing for me. But one company has fully FDM 3D printed an entire bike. Without the electrical components, of course. Some notable benefits include puncture-proof tires, forkless steering, and a very lightweight vehicle at 60 kilograms. And although it's not perfect, Triple F printing can allow manufacturers to test prototypes, create customized designs, and maybe one day reduce costs in actual production vehicles. At number 5, the Oli 2.0. Remember that company which brought forth the first 3D printed car? Well now, Local Motors is making a fully autonomous 3D printed shuttle. The second generation should have a range of 100 miles on a single charge, and will be roughly 80% 3D printed. There are quite a few gadgets in the vehicle, including speech recognition and open API, which provides server user interfaces. The next position is pretty neat, and it's called the Cloud Pergola. This unique structure combines architecture, art, engineering, and even 3D printing. Its main intention is to capture the complexity of cloud formation, and it encompasses light filtering and shadow casting. Anyways, it's over 57 square meters and over 300 kilograms, which is a lot of filament. Now a different and notable structure was also built by Branch Technology. This one weighs about 3200 pounds, which is about 1400 kilograms, and it was 3D printed in 10 weeks. But just keep in mind that it's not in one piece, so it was made in multiple panels and then assembled on site. And I wouldn't even want to think how much that would cost in PLA filament. The next position is really crazy, and it's a 6 story building. It is pretty neat that 3D printers can print entire buildings, and this six-story building still holds the record for one of the biggest. The printer was able to fabricate the structure by using a combination of concrete, fiberglass, and sand so that it's flexible and self-insulating. Just keep in mind that this building is not entirely 3D printed, so steel reinforcement, windows, and piping were added in afterwards. Ultimately, it's still pretty neat that a 3D printer can print this type of shell. We get to number 2 and it's the Boeing 777X tool. One of the largest 3D printed objects was made by the Oak Ridge National Laboratory. The tool was created by an additive manufacturing process, and this tool basically secures the composite wings for drilling and machining on the 777X. Measuring in at 17 feet long and 5 feet wide, the piece actually weighs in at over 1600 pounds, which is pretty extreme. And this also exemplifies how big this wing actually is, and it's one of the largest Boeing has ever built. Even though there has been setbacks, delivery of the 777X is expected to take place in the next few months. Finally, we reach the ironic duality of the Aeon 1 and Terran 1 for the number 1 position. A whole new revolutionary rocket engine was recently brought forth by Relativity Space. Utilizing a propellant mix of oxygen and methane, it is composed of roughly 100 parts which are entirely 3D printed. 3D printing allows the rocket engine to drastically reduce the number of parts and hence decreases the building time along with increasing reliability, not to mention affordability. But it doesn't stop there and Relativity Space is actually working on 3D printing a whole entire synchronous orbital rocket 
capable of carrying 700 kilograms. So what does this all mean? Well, ultimately, rocket reusability along with automated assembly will help make space travel more affordable. And I don't know, maybe it's just me, but 3D printing an entire rocket is pretty incredible. So once again, thanks for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe to my channel.